what if the input to binary search tree comes in the sorted manner like this then it will insert all the element at right side because all the bigger elements are inserted at right in binary search tree here you can see your tree is not balanced at the left of the root you have zero node and right of the root you have a six nodes so in the worst case for any operation like insertion search or deletion you have to go through all n nodes that's nothing but linear search with order n but if you balance the tree and take 4 as a root and you will find tree in which root node is balanced but if you can see the left subtree node 3 left side you have a two nodes but at right side you have a zero so you can balance further and make two as a root of the subtree by doing right rotations of the nodes similarly for right subtree you take six as a root and do the left rotation now you can see the worst case time complexity that is height of the tree and this is log n since we have a seven nodes so log 7 base 2 that is 2.81 that is near to 3 and it is smaller than order of linear search that is 7 here so it simply shows that your balanced binary tree you have to go through maximum 3 nodes in worst case and such type of height balanced tree is known as avl tree avl trees named after their inventor and those are height balancing binary search tree avl tree checks the height of the left and the right subtrees and assures that the difference is not more than 1 this difference is called balance factor so you can write the equation balance factor is equal to height of left subtree minus height of right subtree avl tree is a self balancing binary search tree in which each node maintains extra information called a balance factor whose value is either minus 1 0 or plus 1 you have to handle four possible cases to rebalance the tree or subtree and you have to perform appropriate rotation so if you want to build avl tree for three nodes like 10 20 and 30 so you will get 3 factorial is equal to 6 different input order of these three elements like 10 20 30 10 30 20 20 10 30 20 30 10 30 10 20, 30, 10, 20, 20 and 30 20 10, 10 if you take first one you take 10 as a root then you take 20 in right of 10 and at last 30 at right of node 20 so it's a right right case here you can see balance factor of 30 is 0 because left and right subtree heights are 0 therefore 0 minus 0 equal to 0 while for 20 left subtree height is 0 and right subtree is 1 so balance factor minus 1 now for root node that is 10 here left subtree height is 0 while right subtree height is 2 
therefore balance factor 0 minus 2 equal to minus 2 that's not allowed in AVL tree so we can perform left rotations on 10 to balance the tree now for the second order that is 10 30 and 20 are inserted in this way and it is right left case here also you can see the root is unbalanced so you have to rotate node 30 to the right and 10 to the left to make the avl tree now for the third order that is 20 10 and 30 are inserted like this so you can see here balance factor of all the nodes are zero already so no further balancing required here for the next order that is 20 30 and 10 are inserted in this so your tree is balanced here so no further action required moving next if you take 30 10 and 20 in this way that is left right case here to balance the root node you can rotate node 10 to the left and 30 to the right you will get avl tree for the last order that is 30 20 and 10 you will get left skewed binary tree like this this is left left insertion case so to balance the root you can perform right rotations on 30 and you will get avl tree this is all for avl tree to see more such exciting video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get my new video notifications thanks for watching